throw herbs. <laughs> you should be drinking to watch my videos. I am. <laughs> So, red star orb. So, with one four star orb, you will get five of these tokens if you cash them in. Whereas, if you were to pull a dupe, um, I believe you get 750 of the elite five star orb credits, which is not bad. But that'll give you five tokens alone. Actually, really, it's like seven and a half tokens total, but you need 500 to cash in each time. And then, if you pull an elite five star dupe uh, from an elite orb, then you'll get six star credits and so on and so forth. Um, so the idea is if you were to pull an elite five star orb, it could be anything and it could be a duplicate, but you can turn these in, you could turn in a thousand credits to get 10 of these tokens and then upgrade somebody of your choice from two to three stars. And that's what I'm doing. So I have 3,500 credits. I'm not going to cash any more in unless I know I'm going to use them. They just sit there. They don't go away. They don't expire. So like one of the characters I'm targeting is Captain Marvel. So I'm waiting for her to come back around. And the other one is Shield Security. I really like Shield Security as a tank in Fear the Darkness. And I think he's really useful just on the uh, Shield team. So instead of say pulling one orb i can get five characters from two to three red stars of my choice and so um that's what i'm gonna do here so i thought i'd show this upgrade because i've actually never done this before i haven't bought a token thing from this before so i kind of want to see what it does and uh there okay so it's just like you pulled the orb um oh you get some credits also so i got 200 towards my uh, four star credit because I already had him at two red stars. And this is going to be a really minor upgrade. Um, so he's going to go from 43,000 to 47, 45. Not, not a huge jump, like 2200 power, but you know, it's an extra 4,000 uh, health, 300 damage, another 300 armor, a little bit of focus that'll help with the slows and stuns, and a little bit more resistance. So. I mean, to me, I think this might be one of the better things to do with your Elite 5 orbs. As tempting as it is to pull them, um, as you know, if you get unlucky and you pull shit from the bottom of your roster, like this stuff down here, um, it's just, it's kind of lame because, you know, it's like, well, like, yeah, I got Hydra Scientist with my free Elite 5 orb. Something I will probably never use for anything unless they make it part of like a legendary unlock, which I don't think they're going to do. Everybody keeps joking about that with AIM and, and Hydra. I don't think it's happening. I think they're just, they're the shit minions of the game and they're going to stay the shit minions of the game. I don't think it's going to happen. But anyway, so I'm just thinking here, my inventory, uh, I got a few four star credits. I'll pull the four star orbs just because you do have a decent chance of getting, you know, a five to seven star that's 25 uh 26 actually or yeah 25 percent total chance of getting higher than a four star which is pretty solid so i think it kind of makes sense i also have a lot of four stars i think i'm at like 30 and i think total i think my roster is like 38 or something characters that are four star or higher so um something like that i forget it's a lot but in any case um I've had some good luck, some bad luck, you know, there's certain characters I'm still chasing, but I'm going to look for certain upgrades. So when I go to my roster, and unfortunately you can't sort by red stars, but I'm, I'm looking at the top of my roster and thinking, what characters can I upgrade from two to three that'll make a difference, right? Um, so for me, like Vision, if, I, if he comes up, I'm absolutely going to cash in 10 of those tokens and get him, right? And then Minerva, absolutely. And maybe Widow, if I'm rolling in these things, I'll probably pick her. But um, not a huge uh, issue right now. But Captain Marvel, absolutely. She is amazing on arena defense. So I am I am laser focused on her right now, now that I've got Ultron Tier 13. She is my next gear project, and I'm going to be pushing her as high as I can. So she'll be six stars real soon. She'll hopefully be three red stars very soon. I'll be watching every day for it. Uh, just hoping the shop pulls her up. We'll see. But other than that, there's not a whole lot else that I would upgrade, you know? Like, I mean, I could take hand sentry up, but what am I going to use him for, right? Like, it only costs four tokens to go to two red stars from one, but eh, I don't know. I'd rather use 10 on somebody going from two to three. Maybe like Ronan. Ronan's actually a pretty solid character to have uh, up there. He's he's great on the Kree teams. He's excellent in Alliance War defense. Um, and honestly, he's a really solid utility character just to throw in with uh, randoms or on arena attack. I've seen some really tough combos with him.
no i did not use my free to, uh, so i used they gave us one free five star five red star thing to start and that was the initial run and then the, if most people got like 750 or like 1500 tokens on top of that and i got 750 drop and so i used my five star to um elite thing and I didn't know what I was doing. And I pulled a Hydra Scientist. And had I known better, I would have rather probably used that to take somebody from three to four stars in particular. Um, specifically, I would have picked up Rocket or Star-Lord and taken them to four stars. Uh, I think that's a solid investment. And either one of those guys, they're both excellent. Um, but I didn't know what I was doing. So that's why I'm talking about this now. Because I want you guys to know. <laughs> so Hydra Scientist is garbage. Uh, I really only use him to apply death proof to the first person that gets attacked in an arena, uh, alliance war attack. That's all I use him for. So he's never going to really do a whole lot. It's fine. Whatever. You know, I made a mistake. That's cool. Shit happens. Um, but really, when it comes to these elite orbs and stuff, I mean, you can see here, to take somebody to four red stars in particular is 50 coins. So that would be one full elite star orb because it would take 10 of these five promotion credits, right? So that's an elite five. So you can either randomly pull a five or above. And this one actually has a pretty decent chance of being a six or a seven, 20% uh, chance of being a six or seven. That's that's great um, for what you get. And... Um, if it is a dupe, I'm pretty sure you get 5,000 elite credits or something like that. So anyways, I'm just saying instead of pulling one orb, you could pick one person that you want to go from three to four stars, which is a 10% bump. Or you can pick four characters to go from two to four, two to three stars, which is 5% a piece. So that's pretty solid. If you have a team that you love and you have invested heavily in and you just can't pull the right stuff for them, I would absolutely cash some of these in and go from, you know, two to three or three to four if you can. Um, if you got them saved up, I think that's going to be so much more helpful, especially with all the characters. They're adding new characters every two weeks, basically. There's probably two characters a month on average right now coming in. And all that does is it dilutes the chances of you getting the character that you want so this is the way to get around this so now i kind of understand the system it seems a little better than my initial thoughts on it but it still seems like a very slow crawl to even get these four star credit orbs but you know whatever so i just wanted to point that out um that's what i'm going to be looking for so there's my first red star store purchase i guess whatever you want to call it and uh, i just thought i'd show that before we get started here on fear of the darkness but uh, i thought that was kind of interesting um, just to see what's going on and how that kind of helps with your roster and what you can plan around because that's really all the control you have right now with red stars is using those tokens so if you're hurting real bad focus one person up and uh, use your use your coins on them and that's about it <laughs>